Think about the fact that the shape of every plant you've ever seen is the result of gravity sensing. Every plant has gravity sensing cells and those cells contain dense bodies, they're packed with starch, and when that organ is displaced away from its starting position, those dense starch-filled packets, they fall to the lower wall of the cell. What we don't know is much about what happens after that. And so our question, our experiment is aimed at what's the least amount of gravity that a plant can detect and cause that kind of sedimentation. And the way we're getting at that is to add fractional gravity to plants as they grow and ask the plant, how about that? Can you feel that much? How about, here's a little bit more. We'll turn it up just a little more. Can you feel that? We're growing 120 of these at all different gravity levels on the station. So we have planned a whole series of experiments at fractional gravity levels while we're visualizing the plants as they grow. So we have a, a cell culture chamber that has two rotors, uh, centrifuge rotors, and these sort of stack, they align along the radius of the rotor um, at different distances. And the, the amount of gravity experienced by the plant varies depending on how far it is along that rotor arm. Our lowest treatment, I think, is down to about uh, six one thousandths of a G, all the way up to one G to get a good control for, for Earth response. Plant shape is, is critical uh, in breeding programs to determine optimal growth uh, for crop productivity in roots and in shoots. So lots of uh, potential applications, uh, both off the earth and on the earth. Subscribe for more space. space.